as more and more employers require employees to be vaccinated against COVID-19. Many workers are pushing back, citing religious beliefs against getting it. But what does the law say and how does an employer decide? ABC 10's Kurt Rivera explains in tonight's cover story. At Destiny Christian Church in Rockland, and it's on the form, all the scripture references. A pastor signs exemption forms, citing religious beliefs as protection from the need for a COVID-19 vaccine. For us who choose not to, we put our faith in the Lord. But how does that hold up in the workplace? According to the Federal Equal Employment Opportunity Commission, employers must provide, quote, reasonable accommodations for workers who have, quote, sincerely held religious beliefs. It doesn't mean that they have to grant all exemption requests. Michelle Mello is a Stanford Law School and Health Policy Professor for the University School of Medicine. She says in the past, employers have granted a, quote, fairly large berth for religious exemptions, but with COVID, that has changed. In this context, there are some distinct challenges because many of the people who are filing religious exemption requests have never refused vaccines before. This is the only vaccine that they object to. And the nature of their objection isn't truly religious. It's more of a personal belief exemption that they're trying to shoehorn into the religious exemption channel. And she says under the law, employers are allowed to question the employee about their exemption doesn't require that you've tithed to a recognized denomination or that you have a letter from your clergy person. It does require that you articulate an argument that is religious in nature and not more generally just about your personal beliefs. And then there's a portion that the Equal Employment Opportunity Commission says gives the employer the right to deny a religious exemption on what's called undue hardship. That's defined as, quote, more than a de minimis or minimal burden or cost to run an employer's business. It could lead to an employee getting fired. For certain industries, there isn't a reasonable accommodation and the employee is going to be faced with a hard choice. And healthcare is certainly one of those industries. Education is, is probably another where, you know, remote work is not really feasible. And some of the other accommodations that the employer might think about just aren't going to do the trick in terms of reassuring everyone that they can operate a safe workplace. San Joaquin County Public Health Officer Dr. Maggie Park says, quote, the California Department of Public Health guidelines stress religious exemptions should be based on sincerely held religious beliefs. San Joaquin County Public Health Services continues to reach out to our faith-based organizations to help answer questions about the COVID-19 vaccine and making the shots readily available to the community. And the federal labor code also allows an employer to grant a different religious accommodation than what the employee is asking for if it poses undue hardship to the business.